If you're tired of being stuck in a concrete jungle and want to escape only for a little breather in nature, then you need to go camping, and we've got you covered. Let's dive right into these marvels of nature where you can pitch a tent and sleep under the starry sky. Today's video is about some of the top camping spots in Canada, and you're going to want to stick around for it. Starting with the Thomas Rattle Provincial Park. Nova Scotia's Thomas Rattle Provincial Park is one of the best camping spots in Canada. Situated on the beautiful South shore, just 180 kilometers from Halifax, the park boasts 6.5 square kilometers of glorious wilderness. In the park, you can go camping, hiking, biking, or kayaking while taking in the fresh air of the expansive grounds. If you're more interested in the stunning coastline, secluded beaches nearby offer perfect visuals. The park is also a favorite with kids and adults alike because there's just so much to do. Up next is the Riding Mountain National Park. Located on Treaty 2 territories of Manitoba, the Riding Mountain National Park is the go-to place for families wanting an adventurous holiday. You could pitch a tent in one of the private, unserviced campgrounds, overlooking one of the nearby lakes. Or you could head to the backcountry grounds for a more refined spot. Or better yet, go yurt camping and just chill out. If you're with the fam and have made a trip during mid-May to mid-October, you'll find the Wasagaming Campground open. The area boasts restaurants, a playground, kayak and bike rentals, along with so much more. The kids could go hiking and swimming, or you could sit around roasting marshmallows on a campfire under the prairie sky. How dreamy. Speaking of Canadian prairies, Grasslands National Park is up next. Saskatchewan's Grasslands National Park is the place to go if you're looking for a backcountry camping experience like no other. Rolling badlands and the natural beauty of the area allows you to camp and enjoy some unique views of the prairie. If you're up for an adventure, go kayak kayaking on the river, or if you want to relax, just sit back and watch the wildlife milling about. Spot a bison or two here and there. The best part about Grasslands National Park is that you can pitch a tent with no other humans in view. That'll give you a true feel for camping. Moving on to the Point Grandine Park. The indigenous-owned park in Ontario is the perfect place to explore the wonders of nature to the fullest. Go see the glorious sights of the Wemtagush Falls, paddle around the coastal waters of the Georgian Bay, or learn about the Anishinaabek way of life on an immersive hike at Point Grandine Park. The park is run by the Waikwim Kung Unceded Territory, and all are free to explore the 73 square kilometers of land. If you're visiting between June and October, you can join a guided tour or overnight trip. The Amik Zibi guided hike is the most popular amongst people as you learn about the healing plants of the area. And if you're in more of an adventurous mood, try the fan favorite Paddle Into the wild tour. On the four-day paddling tour, you can check out the different canoe routes of the nearby Killarney Provincial Park, learn about indigenous astronomy as your guide tells stories under the night sky, and top it all off with local food prepared the traditional way with wild game and fish. What an experience! Next up is the Juan de Fuca Provincial Park. The park in British Columbia features the 47-kilometer-long hiking trail called the Juan de Fuca Marine Trail. Cousin to the West Coast Trail, it weaves in and out of lush forests, skirting along beaches, up and down man-made stairs, over logs, across rope-assisted rocks, and through muddy trenches. The trail is not for the faint of heart, and should only be taken on if you're fit and active. But should you dare to take it on, the multi-day hiking trip offers bountiful rewards. Just don't forget to book a campsite on China Beach beforehand. It's on a first-come, first-served basis. Let's discuss the Kiwanis Oceanfront Camping Spot now offering incredible views of the Passamaquoddy Bay at a 10-minute walk from the town of St. Andrews by the sea, the waterfront camping spot is perched at the tip of a jagged coastline. Visitors can choose to camp or glamp at full-service or unserviced campsites with an ocean of wooded view. With kitchen service and hot water showers available, you can take your pick of recreational activities, which includes bike trails and a playground for kids. For those with an excess of energy, kayaking, sightseeing, well watching, golfing, fishing, and more. So there's something for everyone. And have we told you about the Forillon National Park yet? Touted as one of the best outdoor camping spots in Quebec, the Forillon National Park is located at the Gaspe Peninsula. Choose a tent or an RV, pick whether to camp fully, partially, or not at all, surrounded by trees, making good
good use of amenities including swimming pools, playgrounds, dumping stations, coin laundry, and powered sites. Or get away from it all with the two trails available for backcountry camping. Called where the lands end by the First Nations, this unique landscape where the St. Lawrence River meets the Atlantic offers views of tall cliffs hugging the coastline and offering stunning visuals, especially at sunset. Spend your days here exploring the many hiking trails, or go on a bike trip, or book a whale watching cruise, if you've got that adventure bug in you. There's also the Waterton Lakes National Park. There's no dearth of camping sites in Alberta. In fact, the most obvious choice would be Banff, but if you're looking for secluded camping sites, away from the crowds and offering stunning views, head further south and check out Waterton Lakes National Park. The park is a hiker and camper's paradise, with climbable mountains, stunning vistas, gorgeous waterways, and trails, and lung-cleansing oxygen in abundance. With 10 backcountry camping grounds, all accessible by hiking trails, the spot is also a staple for winter campers. But don't forget about Outpost Co. If you're after a glamping experience, Outpost Co. in Ontario is the spot for you. Located in the Killarney region of the traditional territory of the Ojibwa people, the super luxurious fly-in, fly-out private campground is right by the Obabika Lake. At a four and a half hour drive from Toronto or a one and a half hour drive from Sadbury, you'll have to take a boat shuffle onto the campsite. Campers get to experience lakeside glamping in cotton canvas tents, resting on timber platforms, and life is completely unplugged. With no Wi-Fi or electricity, spend your time by taking part in one of the organized activities like canoeing, hiking, and history talks, or enjoy a beached barbecue of delicious, locally sourced food. What a life! And the Gros Morne National Park mustn't be missed either. 1,850 square kilometers of sheer cliff beauty, jaw-dropping summits, rugged tablelands, and coastal trails await you in the Gros Morne National Park in Newfoundland. The UNESCO World Heritage Site allows limited visitors, and you'll have to book a camping trip well in advance to be accommodated. Another plus point of this park is that you get to experience camping in a very real way. You'll have to carry all of your supplies, set everything up yourself, and once you're done, you'll have to pack it up and bring any garbage you have with you as well. But it's so worth it. The goal is to take only pictures and leave only footprints to make sure future generations can enjoy this beautiful sight as well. Finally, let's talk about the Waya Point Resort. For glamping and yurt camping by the Pacific Ocean, head to the Waya Point Resort in British Columbia. The award-winning glamping spot near the Pacific Rim National Park is an indigenous-owned campground on Ukluelet First Nations traditional territory. You can break a sweat on the bike trails, hike to your heart's delight, take a dip in the ocean in one of the resort's private beaches, and just explore that incomparable British Columbia beauty. And you don't even have to rough it. You can take your pick between a chic wooden lodge overlooking the water, tent camping, or three different styles of yurts, each of which comes with a double bed, tea and coffee maker, and a gas fireplace. You can also just park your RV at one of their serviced or unserviced sites for a unique experience. How cool is that? And that's all the best Canadian camping spots we could gather for you at this time, and it's quite an extensive list. Each spot packs a punch of its own, and they're all worth visiting at least once in a lifetime. That's a wrap for this video. Have you camped in any of these spots before? Where would you like to go next? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.